All right, so the next part is now that you got into this position, what do you do, right? He's gonna keep hitting you, he's gonna keep trying to hit you, um, but at least now you're in a safer position. You don't wanna to be too close or too far away. In this case, we're too close for him to be launching anything serious that would hurt, okay? So from here, once you get in a position, so he's doing the attacks, right? Two, in, in. Now, once you're coming up, do the double thumb, thumb gouging. Right up the chin. And now, now his head's backwards. Now push, 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 push. That's it. Okay. So that's one way to do it. Very simple. So slow motion. For example, I'm just doing this without the heads. I'm just doing this. Down to the B. When you come up here, I can feel his chest, so I know his head is there. If his chest is here, his head is there, right? I right. don't even need to look. If his chest is there, I just reach up, push up, backwards. Okay, the head goes back, and then push it back. And that might be all you need to do, and then just run. Right, that's one way of doing it. Okay, so just practice that. Okay, so he's hitting, and then two, two, then do it nice and slow. Okay, just do that, okay. So he's hitting, just nice and slow. Don't go boom, like that, that can break the guy's neck, okay. So just do this nice and slow. Okay. Once you get, feel, the, feel the chin, you just need to stand up. You just need to stand up and just walk forward. That's what you need to do. You don't need a lot of pressure to make the guy go like this. Cause it's, okay. So, like I said, the uh, slightly more dangerous version, right, is to go for the eyes. Okay. Just you know, place them there. Don't actually push it. For training. So those are things you can do. Okay. So practice that. And then we can show, you, show you the next one.